In step five of exercise number nine, the following actions have to be implemented to define the machining of the holes through the prismatic part. A drilling operation is used to perform the machining of the countersinks. Afterwards, a drill recognition strategy is used to automatically recognize drill features and perform drilling of all the holes. First, you have to define a drilling operation to perform the machining of the countersinks. In the Solid Cam Manager, right-click the Operations header and choose Drilling from the Add Milling Operation submenu. The Drilling Operation dialog box is displayed. On the Geometry page, click the New button to define the drill geometry for the operation. The Drill Geometry Selection dialog box is displayed. In the Filter for Circle Arc Selection area, enable the On Z Level checkbox and then click the On Z Level button to display the Pick Position dialog box. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the top face of one of the three lowest level bosses as shown. The Z Level value appears in the Z field. Click OK to confirm and exit the Pick Position dialog box. In the Select Centers By area, set the radio button to All Circle Arc Centers and click the All Circle Arc Centers button. SolidCam searches the solid model for all arcs and circles that exist on the specified Z level, and then adds all center points as drill positions to the geometry. The geometry is defined. Click OK to confirm the geometry selection. Switch to the tool page, and click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. In the Part Tool table, Select tool number 4, the 9.5 mm spot drill. Click the select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the part tool table. Switch to the levels page to define the milling levels. Click the upper level button. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the top face of the stock model as shown, and then click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the drill depth button and select the top face of one of the three lowest level bosses, as shown. Click OK to confirm the drilling depth definition. In the Depth Type area, set the radio button to Diameter Value. With this option selected, the drill reaches the defined drilling depth with the drill cone diameter specified by the Diameter Value parameter. Click the Diameter Value button. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, Select the circle entity that defines the largest diameter of the countersinks as shown. To exit the Select Radius By dialog box and confirm the calculated radius value of 3.15 mm, click OK. The diameter value parameter of 6.3 mm is defined for the depth type. Switch to the Technology page. Default is used for sorting and the standard drilling method of G81 is used for the drill cycle type. At this point, the drilling operation is defined. Click the Save and Calculate button to add the operation to the cam tray and calculate the toolpath. Close the Drilling Operation dialog box with the Exit button.